as thousands of students and staff returned to the campus. School leaders met to discuss the response to that shooting. Many parents say they're frustrated over what they call a lack of communication. News 6's Brian Didlake spoke with the school board chair on what the district is doing to keep students safe and parents in the know. A Seminole County School Board met Thursday to discuss what improvements needed to be made. It is good to note that there was extra police here on campus, which comforted many parents we spoke to. It was reflected in the numbers that Seminole High reported with 71% of its nearly 4,500 students returning back to campus. But even with all of this, some parents say more work needs to be done. Take a look. It's like the feeling of relief because you know there's more you know police officers and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it, she she was all right with it coming back to school. Jose Lopez says his daughter was shaken but okay to return Thursday morning, but he still thinks more work needs to be done. It was all like a chaos. So. You really didn't know what to do, when the kids were coming out, and where to pick them up. They need to do a little better job. So I took his concerns to Amy Pinnock, chairman of Seminole County Public Schools. Um, so some parents were saying that they didn't get the information uh, in a timely manner, but can you, can you explain that process for us? So I, I certainly understand the frustration uh, as a parent, uh, a concern. I, I would feel that same concern. Uh, but please know that our main priority at that moment is the safety and making sure that we have everyone contained in a safe manner. On Thursday, Pinnock and other board members held their first meeting to discuss what worked and what can be improved. But we're looking at the security all the time. Uh, and and um, until we get through really all the entire situation and know all the facts, I don't have the information to say what we are doing to update the security. Pinnock says they can only relay information that has been confirmed. Dear Seminole High School families, we're currently in a code red lockdown due to an incident on or near the main campus. The county uses Skyward and school messages based on their threat level. Red signals the threat level is serious and immediate, yellow for increased caution. The guidelines stress for parents to sign up for notifications in case of any lockdown, whether it's real or a drill. Please, if you are a parent, uh, uh, make sure your information is updated. Uh, during our discussion, we did talk about parents' request for metal detectors inside the school. Pinnock said that is not on the table at this time, but maybe in the future. Of course, we will keep up to date with the district as they continue to be debriefed about this situation. Ren Sanford, Brian Dillick getting results, News 6.